Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Dame and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to give you a detailed tutorial on how to do the lever slash clock step on the voyage of despair. I get a lot of tweets and comments about this particular step and a lot of people are confused and sometimes stuck. So today I'm going to show you some great tips on how to get this first time every time so you're easily able to do this whether you're playing a solo game or a co-op game. If you do enjoy today's video, please be sure to go down there and leave a thumbs up. It is always appreciated. And if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for daily content, news, live streams, and tutorials. So now without further ado, let's get straight into that video. So before we get into the nitty gritty of how to actually move the hands and put them in the right position, I'm going to teach you a great trick so you can tell which lever corresponds with its opposing lever. So there are three locations on the map with levers. You have four on the bridge. You also have two on the poop deck upon the catwalk and you have another two on a center pole down in the engine room. Now each one of these levers are connected to the bridge. So the bridge have their own levers and each one of those four levers are connected to either two on the poop deck and two in the engine room. Now which levers these are connected to never change. They are always the same every single game. And to easily tell which lever corresponds with the opposing lever, you just have to look at the symbols. So there's four symbols that will spawn in after you do the Pack-a-Punch step. You have a normal triangle, you have an upside down triangle, you have an upside down triangle with a line going through it, and then you have a normal triangle with another line going through it. So if we take ourselves into the bridge and look at the lever with the normal triangle, this lever will always be connected to the lever on the left hand side of the pole in the engine room. The next one is the upside down triangle. This lever will always be connected to the lever in the engine room on the right hand side. We then have the red lever which is an upside down triangle with a line underneath it and this particular lever will always be connected to the red lever up on the poop deck on the catwalk and then the last one we have is a normal triangle with a line through it and this one will always be connected to the white set of levers again up on the poop deck near the catwalk. Knowing this makes it a lot easier so you don't have to guess which lever is connected with another lever they're always the same every single game so if you familiarize yourself with these it will take out all the guesswork of what's connected to what. So the aim of this step is to move the levers in the correct position and to find out which position you need to put your levers in you will have to find clocks around the map. There are six locations for these clocks but I'm going to leave the actual locations to the end because you may just want to know how to do the step so I'm just going to show you one location for now. The location we're going to be working with is the one in first class. So in first class you have a clock and somewhere in that room there will also be a symbol scratched into the wall. This one is behind the barrier here and it's the upside down triangle. So what I like to do now is get a pen and pad and get ready to write down the time of the clock. Now the time on my clock in this particular game is 25 past 1 but that's something you're going to have to learn not to start doing and telling the time like 25 past 1 using minutes and hours. I would get used to only writing down the actual numbers that the hands are on. So as you can see the hour hand right now is on a number 1. So what I like to do is on a piece of paper I would draw a picture of an upside down triangle. Then I would write the number 1. As you can see the minute hand is on number 5. So then I will put a dot and then a number 5. So on my paper I would have upside down triangle 1 and a 5. Treat this like a 12 hour clock from 1 to 12. Do not think about the minutes, 25 past, half past. Get that out of your head, that will not help you and it really really got in the way of me trying to think of the minutes instead of what the actual hand points to. So now you want to take yourself to the bridge and find the corresponding lever which you have to put this input code into. As you can see when you first get there both hands are pointing directly up. What I like to do is use the big lever for the minute hand and the small lever I like to call the hour hand. So the objective is to move that big lever so it's on the number 5 and then you want the small lever to be on the number 1. This in turn will give you the correct orientation of the levers but it is still tricky from here. Every time you move that big lever it will also move the opposite sided hand on the opposite lever. So in this instance when I move the minute hand it will move what I like to call the hour hand in the actual engine room's lever. 
I would completely forget about what the clocks say on the poop deck in the engine room. I would just concentrate on the actual levers inside the bridge. This is gonna make it so much easier. Now, whilst looking at the levers, you wanna treat these somewhat like a clock, but not in the respects that the hands need to be pointing in exactly the right direction. So as you can see, my time is one and five. The small hand needs to be on the one, and the minute needs to be on the five. So what I like to do is move the hand, the big lever, the minute hand, five times, five clicks to the right. By doing this, it will count one, two, three, four, five, and that will be the minute hand complete. Now remember, when you move this minute hand in the bridge, it will also turn the opposite sided hand on the opposite lever in the engine room or which other lever is opposite of the lever that you're working on. So as you can see on screen now, I'm moving the minute hand and the smaller hand is moving in the engine room. To complete this step, I then take myself into the actual engine room and find the lever that this one is connected to of course it was the upside down lever so it's going to be it's going to be the right one on the pole as you can see on screen now now the dials here are completely flipped around so now when you move the big lever in the engine room it's actually going to turn the small lever up in the bridge and because the bridge are the levers that we are trying to replicate to look like the clock's hands we now need to move the big lever in the engine room which will then move the hour hand up in the lever so for example this one was a number one so i want to move the big lever in the engine room and if you can see up in the bridge it moves the little hand our levers now read one and five and that there is the completed step on screen now i'm going to put an image of every single different lever with the numbers next to them so as you can see comparing the red one to let's say this white one the actual positions are very very different but by using this small guide on screen it's going to be a lot easier for you to know exactly where number one is number two number three number four or number 11, number 10, number 9, number 8. I think it goes all the way around to number 5 and all the way around to number 7. So just keep this guy, this actual picture, and it's going to help you a lot for every time you've got this step. You have to do this four times in total to complete the actual step. There are going to be six actual locations where you can find a clock with a different time, but only four of them will be active each game. I'll run through those with you right now, just in case you don't know all the actual locations. We have a clock in third class, which is underneath the poop deck. If you look to the left, just under the stairs, you're going to see one of your symbols. We have another one in the galley, which is just at the end of the dining hall. The clock will be on the wall. And if you look behind the kitchen cabinet, you're going to see another symbol. We also have one on the main stairs. The symbol for this is at the top of the stairs above one of the doorways. We're also going to have one in first class, for example, the one we use today is a very very small clock and this one is very hard to see and glitchy but as you can see it's on screen now and the symbol for that is going to be in the barrier to the right hand side of it the next clock is going to be on the bridge near the actual levers themselves the clock's going to be above the actual captain's wheel and the symbol for it is going to be under a desk to the right hand side and the last and final location is going to be in the mail room which is above the cargo room basically in spawn the clock is going to be located right next to the doorway you need to buy to activate pack a punch and the symbol for that is going to be underneath the metal stairs just to the left hand side now if you've got any more questions about this step you need any help you're stuck on any single part don't be shy please be sure to put it in the comment box down below and if i can't help you i'm sure somebody else will be able to i've done my absolute best to try and explain this as easy as possible so i do hope it has been of some help for you. If you would like any more detailed tutorials about certain steps of easter eggs, please be sure to let me know in the comment box down below. I have not done main easter egg guides and tutorials this time around because the bigger guys kind of get the search rankings for those and they never really get viewed. But I don't mind going into great detail about smaller steps like this one for example which is a little bit tricky and with a small simple video like this can just make it a hundred times easier anyway guys thank you so much for tuning in if you did enjoy the video please be sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up that will be absolutely amazing homies i hope you enjoy the rest of your day but until the next video this is your boy dane and i'm out